In this video, I'm going to use SPSS to calculate Pearson's R for a data set. We're also going to perform a hypothesis test to see if that Pearson's R is actually significant. So here on the left, I have some data which I just made up. We have scores for 10 subjects. We have their age and their income. We want to see if there's any relationship between age and income for these 10 subjects. So here I've opened SPSS and right now I am in data view. Data view is completely blank. Before we enter in any data, we first need to tell SPSS what variables we have. So we're going to come down here and switch over to variable view. Now we're in variable view. And here we have two value or two variables really. We're going to compare age and income to see how they're related. So I'm going to enter in age for my first variable. And here in the second variable, we'll put income. There we go. So we've got age and we've got income. And for now, all this other information, you can just leave it at their default values. It's not going to affect your final answer for this example. So we've entered our two variables, age and income. And now we go back to data view. Here we have 10 subjects. In SPSS, every row represents a different subject. So here we have our 10 subjects, and we're going to enter in their ages and their income. So let's see how fast I can type this. We got 18, 28, 57, 45, 26, 64, 37, 40, 24, and 33. For incomes, we've got 15,000, 29,000, 68,000, 52,000, 32,000, 80,000, 41,000, 45, 45,000, 26,000, and 33,000. Yeah, I know that I can just copy and paste that in there, but it's helpful because if I do it like this, you can see what I'm doing, and also I don't make mistakes, or at least I don't make as many mistakes. So now we've got age, oh, yeah, we got age, and we got income in data view. So now let's perform our test. We're going to go up here to analyze, and then we're going to go down to correlate. Finally, we select bivariate. Here we select our two variables, age and income, and move them over here. Right now we want to perform a Pearson correlation. We want to calculate Pearson's R, and we're going to do a two-tailed test. You can go to options and select some of these things, like let's get means and standard deviations and let's not worry about this stuff for now. We'll just hit continue with that. And now we just hit OK to perform our test. So here we go. It gave us the descriptive statistics because I asked. Like the average age is 37.2 and the average income is 42,100. That's OK, but, we're concern but what we're concerned with is this right here. Our Pearson's R. We have age and we have income. And it's organized like this. Like here, we have the correlation between age and income. And here, we have the correlation between income and age. As you can see, they're pretty much the same thing. They're just in opposite orders. So here, our Pearson's R is 0.933. And these two stars right here means that the correlation is significant at the 0.01 level for our two-tailed test. So here we've used SPSS to calculate our Pearson's R correlation, and we found that it is significant.